Hey, good day beautiful people. Greet you in a wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on this lovely blessed day. Um, today I just want to talk about how to commit your ways to the Lord and what does it mean. It's still part of the being holy and our holiness within Christ and through Christ and um, the practical ways, our day-to-day -day life. So two verses that I want to talk about, the Psalm 37 verse 5 and Proverbs 16 verse 3. So let's just have a quick read to understand. So uh, Psalm 37 verse 5 says, Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And then we have Proverbs 16 verse 3, Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy, and thy thoughts shall be established. Um, to commit your ways to the Lord. What does it mean? And how do we do that? Um, first of all, in Christ, we want to establish His plans through us. And we ask Him to give us insight, wisdom, and especially discernment. Um, all for His ultimate glory, of course. So, like I said, Psalm 37, verse 5 says, Commit your ways to the Lord, trust in Him, and He will do it. So, if we look at the previous verses, Psalm 37, um, we see that David, David tells us not to fume over or to be envious of evildoers. Instead, we to put our trust in God, do good, and delight ourselves in the Lord. A certain person, Derek Kittner, defines this delight as a deliberate redirection of one's emotions, such as Paul and Silas did in the prison, singing as well as praying. So a deliberate redirection of your emotions. It's one thing to pray when you are, uh, when, so it's one thing to pray when, when you are unfairly imprisoned, unfairly treated. But to sing as well, Paul and Silas, we can read that in Acts 16, verse 16 to 40, um, they chose to praise God instead of sulk, to grumble, or to drown in their miseries. So by committing their ways to God, to Jesus Christ, as well as the outcome that followed, so for example, in this case, a jailer and his wife came to Jesus, so we can't minimize the impact of finding our delight in Him. So one way to delight in the Lord is to commit our ways to Him. Um, what ways is David referring to in Psalm 37 for example your plans both short term and long term um, so in our hearts we make plans but the Lord directs the details under his sovereign care Proverbs 16 verse 9 our hopes and dreams for example committing our ways to the Lord is to lay down the expectations we have for ourselves as well as those we love our prayers um, we dedicate and commit our prayers to the Lord, our attitude, for example. So like Paul and Silas, we can choose to act instead of react. Um, continual prayer for a pure heart, which leads to pure thoughts and speech, is one way to commit our attitude to God. Our habits, Philippians 4.16 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Um, so if we are engaging, for example, in bad habits, uh, we can commit our cravings to the Lord, asking for His strength as we stand on this promise of Philippians 4.16. Our work, validations, our marriage, um, really important to commit your marriage to the Lord, is to say we will, with God's help, wisely navigate our commitment to one another. It is to choose holiness over happiness, and we talked about that, especially during hard times when the enemy whispers, surely God wants you to be happy, tempting you to find greener grass somewhere else. Now, we don't, we don't fall for the scheme of Satan, of course, eh? Um, in, you commit your dating, your school, every opportunity that you have. Not all opportunities that are presented to you in life comes from God, so you need to have that discernment as well. Friendships, friendships, you commit your friendship to God. Your finances, for example, tithing is one thing. So how can we commit our ways to the Lord today? First of all, finding a Bible reading plan. So read your Bible, study the Word of God, understand the will of God in your life. Um, 
your journals, for example, to start, start writing things down, to understand your life, to do some reflection as well. Um, also avoid becoming overly committed. An overcommitted life muddies the water of intention. So choose how you spend your time wisely and to recognize that committing our ways to the Lord is an ongoing process. So I wish you the best. Commit your life to God. Read those two verses. Understand what it is and see how God actually helps you out. Um, a little prayer for those um, struggling with praying as well. Let me just help you. Prayer to commit your way to the Lord. Easy, small prayer. As Lord, may you find my heart fully committed to you and help me to live by your word, obey your commands and find my delight in you. In Jesus' name, amen.